are still waiting for these prices to come down. But even when they do, European tourist Felix Braz believes cheaper gasoline will be short-lived. Of course, we will, it will go back up because the needs all over the world are growing and the reserves, they are not growing. So it's not very difficult to understand that we'll get, one day or another we'll get short of gasoline. Bras is from Luxembourg, where the price is almost double that in the United States because of fuel taxes. Ahmed Al-Helou thinks gas in America is already too expensive. The other day I was talking to one of my friends in Qatar, and you know, he said the gallon they have is 75 cents. You know, comparing to what we have here, it's about 3.99 or 3.99, almost 4 dollars a gallon. That's a huge difference, you know what I'm saying? So. That's a pain in the pocket. Helu runs an import business, and cheaper fuel would provide a much-needed break for him. And not only me, it it will have a big impact on the in the whole, you know, country, because when the prices come down, you know, then you have people transporting goods or things for the stores. You know, the, the prices will come down, the wholesale will come down, the the, the you know the hotels, everything will come down because it's everything. It's linked together. People may America, complain about how much they're paying for gasoline here at the pump, but relief is on the way because of the sharp drop in the price of oil in recent months. Since April, the price of a barrel of crude has dropped around $30. Economists say the price drop is linked to fears that a slower economy will lower demand for fuel. Paul Isbell is an energy and climate expert at the Inter-American Dialogue in Washington. He blames uncertainty in Washington and the recent downgrading of the U.S. credit rating. The main cause of this is the sudden kind of sense of, you know, in in incredulity at what's been happening in the United States. But that's only the latest factor that has caused extreme price volatility, he says. In 2008, the price plummeted during the global financial crisis after peaking at nearly $150 a barrel. The tsunami in Japan and uprisings in the Middle East have also affected the oil price. Isbell says price shocks hurt the poor the most and argues that European-style gasoline taxes can function as a tool that cushions the shocks while slowing climate change. He says governments can raise or lower the tax to compensate for price fluctuations. We have to stop thinking of, you know, high oil prices bad, low oil prices good. He says oil prices that are too low can have the effect of a tax break for consumers, but leave them vulnerable to a price shock down the road. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.